Hello boys and girls, Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and today is all about media players. So um, there's plenty of them on the market. You've got the likes of Popcorn Hour, AC Ryan with their Play on HDs, um, Arctic brought out their Entertainment Centre which is more like a PC but with the Entertainment Centre side of it and obviously you've got all the cheap generic um, Chinese ones and things like that. Um, today we're actually looking at a brand that we haven't really heard of too much in, uh, in the UK and that's Noontech. Now, Noontech have actually made uh, a device called the A9, which is this lovely little thing here, and the A9 Smart TV Box. Now, what this basically is, is a media player that has plenty of options, so you can get an optional wireless keyboard uh, with a trackpad, or an option, optional mouse, uh, and it's got Android 2.3 on it. So, obviously, for anyone who's got an Android-based phone or tablet, this is going to be like second nature being able to use this. And what it actually offers is quite a lot of flexibility in the functions because not only have you just got straight away you know your media player you can web browse on it you can download apps so if you're addicted to Facebook Twitter YouTube that kind of thing you've got the flexibility to do that exactly what you'd see on an Android phone or Android based tablet so they have really sort of you know thought about this it's got Wi-Fi included straight out of the box and so no dongles no expensive purchases for a dongle that only works with that um, it also supports flash as well so it supports flash, supports HD, and um, obviously there's a lot of uh, media players out there on the market that say that they support HD. When you actually come to play in HD 720 or, or 1080p, uh, it just lags, it's uh, you know buffering all the time, and it just can't seem to cope with it. But this we've heard good things about. It's got 1.2 gigahertz processor in it, and uh, because of that it seems to be able to possibly cope better with HD content compared to some of the similar devices with only sort of a 500 megahertz processor that just clearly can't cut it. It's got USB on there, a card reader as well, so you've got plenty of flexibility with um, the storage devices that you're going to be connecting up to it. It's also got LAN, Wi-Fi as well as we said, so you have got quite a lot of uh, you know connectivity options with it as well, HDMI as well as optical. But we won't talk about it too much uh, right now, what we do is we we'll start unboxing it, have a look at the Noontech A9, and then we'll show you it in action so you can see exactly how it can cope with HD content, browsing through videos, music, and obviously photos as well, and just a general gist of the Android 2.3 gingerbread uh, operating system. So boys and girls, this is a first look at the Noontech A9 Smart TV box. Now the thing I like about this is that it's not branded as a HD media player. Um, because there's so many on the market that do claim to be HD media players and absolutely suck at playing HD. Whereas this is just classed as a smart TV box. Now I've got a Samsung smart TV so I'm expecting the same sort of uh, results as I get from that with you know apps and things like that and that's exactly what this is all about. So in the background you can see all of these various different apps including Skype, Netflix, eBay, Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, Gmail, YouTube, MSN and much more. You get a clear view of the product with the optional keypad with uh, it's actually like a mini keyboard with a trackpad on it and our one has actually got it included as well. Now down the bottom you can see some of the main features. So we've got an Android 2.3 operating system. It's got the Android market so you can download all these various different apps or anything that you've really got on your Android based phone or tablet uh, if you are an Android user. It does support Adobe Flash 10.2 um, though we have looked uh, a little bit more into the details there and it is actually Adobe Flash 10.3 not 10.2 so there is a mistake on the box but they may have just updated the firmware on ours. Um, you can browse using the internet browser, play games, blog, shopping, movie, chat, uh, it's got HDMI interface and it's got Wi-Fi built in as well so you don't need to buy any extra dongles or anything like that. Other than that on the box it's very very simple so if we start by opening it up get the Noontech logo here and then straight away we get a view of the actual Noontech A9. Now I'm just going to put that to one side whilst we have a quick sort of flick through and see what we get accessory wise. So it's all packaged in this nice um, sort of protective packaging and then opening things up inside it's split into two compartments so the first one we get a uh, composite AV um, cable we also get a power adapter for the unit and that's it for sort of that sort of aspect of the box in the next bit we get a couple of guides so we've got the mini wireless keyboard mouse combo user manual uh, opening this up it just tells you what all the various different functions are on the wireless keyboard but we're looking at uh, a little bit more detail in a, in a short while and then we also get the A9 Smart TV Box quick installation guide 
Now there's not a lot to this, it just tells you really what's inside the box, what the interface is like and what connections and buttons it's got. A little bit more about the uh, wireless keyboard, which it does state is optional, um, but where we actually got this sample from A1 Distribution, they uh, bundled it in uh, with theirs. You also get a uh, infrared remote control as well. So uh, not much information there, but you don't really need to know a mass amount about. So in here you get the IR receiver, which does come with batteries pre-included. We've already had this out of the box once, so we've already installed the batteries. But uh, on here, if we look at this in a little bit more detail, you can see it's a very, very simple remote. Noontech logo on here, volume buttons, um, home button, menu button, power to turn on and off, directional D-pad, and then an OK button and a return button. Very, very simple, but all you really need um, to you know actually utilize this device. If you need anything more, then we've got this wonderful little box here, which comes with the M100 mini wireless multimedia keyboard. Now this works on a wireless 2.4 gigahertz signal, and looking at the actual device itself, it's very, very simple, and it's just the right size, really, to, uh, to use it with both hands. Now the buttons are very, very sort of sturdy. You may be able to, if I hold it close to the microphone, you can hear the sort of click and the quality behind it. It's got a trackpad over here as well, so you can control the mouse. And then you've got your left click, your right click, your up, down, left, right, if you're using browsing and scrolling along. And you've got the function button here with various different functions along here. So you've got a couple of F keys. Um, you've also got um, power on button, search, home, menu, that kind of thing. But one funky thing about this is it's rechargeable, which means that you just plug the uh, included USB cable which is just here so this will plug into your device and then straight into here and it can charge up you got an on off button just here as well but one thing that I really like is it's got a little light on it as well so you have got a little button here if you're searching for something whilst you're watching a film or something like that then you've got this handy little light there as well so that's a nice little feature and to actually utilize this device it's got this tiny unifying receiver just here. So that plugs straight into the Noontech A9 Smart TV box, and then uh, off you go. So nice and simple. So if we just move everything out of the way, we can have a look at the A9 itself in a little bit more detail. So let's just pan down a little bit on the camcorder. So the Noontech A9 comes with a sort of glossy surface on top, which is, it has its pros and its cons. It's great because it looks really, really nice, but it attracts dust like a magnet. So this did come with a protective film over it, but we have taken it off. You've got a little red sticker up here just saying about some of the main features, but you can, if you wish, decide to uh, take that off as well. And then just give it a quick sort of clean because you can see there's dust on it already. So Noontech logo in the middle, and we've also got a power button over here. So very, very simple, and you'll see straight away from the device that it is really, really slim. Um, looks very much like a bigger version of Apple TV. On the front of it, we can see there's some branding, smart TV box, and the, this is where the IR receiver is for the remote control. Looking at the side, we've got some ventilation ports because uh, obviously heat needs to escape from somewhere. And then on the other side, We've got a USB uh, 2.0 port here, and also a card, read uh, card reader, which can take SD, MMC, and also SD, HC, which uh, a lot of even laptops and things like that can't actually utilize SD, HC because of the extra power needed. This can uh, use SD, HC as well as SD and normal MMC as well. Taking a look at the bottom quickly, we can see that there's some rubber feet on here to sort of help prop the unit up a little bit and stop with anti-vibration, that kind of thing. And then obviously the most important thing is on the back. So we've got the power port, the DC in 12 volt. We've got our three audio and video uh, composite connectors. Optical SP diff if you've got uh, a home cinema sort of theater system. HDMI as well. LAN, another USB, and then a uh, different type USB connector as well. So it does cater for sort of, you know, quite a few devices. And that's pretty much the device in a nutshell. Um, specs wise, you're looking at a 1.2 gigahertz processor. Um, and sort of, you know, the usual things. There's no storage on this, uh, but you can obviously utilize that USB and uh, install, you know, flash drives, uh, external hard drives, that kind of thing. So without sort of, you know, bogging down and looking at this in, in a little bit too much detail, because there isn't really a lot to say about it. What you see is what you get. And what we're going to do is we're going to get it connected up have a look at you know the Android 2.3 software, not really delve too much into the software side of things, but show you exactly what comes included, how good it is at playing HD content, uh, how easy it is to sort of browse through music, videos, photos, and that kind of thing. 
So uh, we'll go and uh, set this up right now and uh, we'll show you exactly what it's capable of. So everyone, this is the uh, main screen, which as you can see is very, very similar to what you'd expect from an Android based device. Uh, looks very similar to um, sort of, you know, what we've seen on tablets uh, with operating the Android operating system. So you can see that you've got your uh, Google search bar up here. You can touch the launcher icon, which is over there. And you've also got a few things down the bottom. Now we're going to be using the uh, included sort of wireless keyboard with trackpad. Uh, which as you can see uh, we've got a mouse over there and if we go over to the launcher you can see that it brings up all the apps that are pre-installed so we've got Adobe Reader on there, uh, APK installer if you want to install your own apps from file uh, browser which is obviously your internet, calculator, calendar uh, a few other things, obviously the uh, Android Marketplace uh, we've also got YouTube on there and a few other little bits and bobs, Google search, but you can go onto the Android market and install things like Facebook, Twitter, and other um, sort of you know Android-based uh, apps. If we come out of that and back to the main screen, we can see down the bottom that we've got video, music, gallery, market, browser, and settings. So if we went to video, you can see really how quick uh, everything loads. We can see that we've got Iron Man 2 on here uh, in Matroska um, format, 12.8 gig, and if we go onto that, it will uh, start playing. Sorry for the autofocus there, but i um, just waiting for it to sort of start up. And there you can see we've got a full um, HD video playing. There's no sound because I haven't got any speakers uh, connected to this particular uh, monitor. But as you can see, this is uh, Iron Man 2 playing. If you haven't seen it, it is a great film. Really advise uh, watching it. And you can see it's playing HD content absolutely fluidly um, with no sort of lag or anything like that. If we come back out of there, just want to show you some of the other main features. Uh, music. So if we go into there, you can see that you can list things via songs, playlists, now playing, albums. So at the moment we're on the songs. If we go to albums, it will show us that we've got Arctic Monkeys, whatever people say I am. That's, not what I'm, that's what I'm not. And then artists, obviously Arctic Monkeys. And then when you go into that... You can see it brings up the album anyway with 13 songs and there's all the songs again. And then you can start playing it just like that. Coming back out of that and going on to the gallery, all we've done is uh, we've got a Kingston USB flash drive that we just uh, we just chucked a, a few movies, uh, a movie on there, some music and some photos of uh, photos that we've done for a review. So you can see that we've got a folder called New Folder and Sapphire HD 7770. So if we go on there, um, you can see that it does take a little while to load the thumbnails, uh, but these are very, very large image files that we've got um, that have the pictures actually been taken on um, on a uh, Canon EOS 550D. So uh, obviously the quality is very, very good. And if we go on to one of them, you can see it just takes that little while really to to, to actually render the uh, photo. And there you can go. There you go. You can see that it's rendered. And then. Uh, you can see exactly how the gallery works and we can flick through photos once again it just takes a little while to to render the photo but once it has everything uh, looks fine and uh, dandy so coming out of there we can see that we've got the browser so if we were to go on the browser see that we get Google on there so if we go onto the Google search we can search for eTechnics enter and you can see how quick it is um, not as quick as we'd expect from a desktop PC but still very very quick and we've got on the first one etechnics.com fantastic review site if you haven't been on it that's because we own it so we have to sort of say that uh, but you can see it loads everything up and uh, this does support flash as well so uh, any sort of YouTube videos that you play directly on youtube.com it will ask you whether you want to play on the YouTube app or on the browser and it will play that absolutely fine uh, with flash 10.3 so there you go um, that's pretty much all the main features of um, the Noontech A9 um, media box and uh, hope you've enjoyed the video